Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evna, and he has a beautiful idea today that we've been speaking about. It says in the Pasik, in the verse in Tehillim, we just read it during the entire week of Sukkot and Shmini Hatzeres, and just last week on Rosh Chodesh, it says in the Halil, Ha'amanti ki Adamir. I believed because I spoke, or because I will speak. The Kosov Besor HaKadoshim, the mystical and holy works, right? Shema Sayamanti, when do I believe in Hashem? Ki Adamir, when I speak. Claymar, what does that mean to say? Masai Mushreshes Hemunahite Pinima Belibay Shal Adam. At what point is the amuna, the faith that I'm trying to achieve, going to be deeply enrooted in the innermost recesses of the heart of a person? When a person gets accustomed to living a life of ki adaber, when I will speak. Kleimar, that means to say, His mouth is constantly accustomed. Always, Lidaber to speak Dive Amuna to speak words of Amuna of faith. When a person is constantly having words of Amuna rolling off their lips and their tongue, that is when the Amuna will be solidified inside of them. And anyone that is more accustomed to speaking words of Amuna, Milvara is besides the fact that he spends time meditating upon the ideas and being introspective in his thoughts about belief in Hashem, but rather he takes it to the next level and he expresses the words of Amuna with his mouth. So too then will the Amuna go deeper and deeper into the very depths of his heart. If a person says, I believe in Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you're so kind, I realize everything is happening, Baruch Hashem, Emir Hashem, everything's going to work out, I know you wouldn't put me through something <clears throat> that I can't handle, I know this is for my own good, and you start speaking these words of Amuna, it makes it into reality, and it goes deeper and deeper inside. Ulehepach, and the opposite is also true. Matzina B'Sam HaKadosh, we find in the Holy Works, when you amuna will be cut off when it's lost from your mouth. the holy swarm right. When is amuna going to be cut off from a person? because it was lost from your mouth. Claymar since that a person did not accustom themselves. And set themselves up like this. To accustom themselves constantly. To be always speaking words of Amuna in their mouth. Besides the fact of their delving into and thinking about Amuna. Even there, the Amun is going to get cut out from their hearts. Says the Bilvavi Mishka Nevna, you could be misbeinin, you could think about Amuna, it could be swirling around in your thoughts, but if you don't talk about it enough, it doesn't make it real. And therefore, we have an obligation to speak about our Amuna as much as is possible. Sha'oimik vihirus ore Amuna, nelam viniskase. The depth and clarity of Amuna and the light of its Amuna is hidden and covered up in our hearts. Amuna does not live inside of our hearts, being in a revealed state. It's only going to become revealed and come to life when we speak about it, we give, we give our Amunah life by talking about it. The more that you can talk about Hashem, the more that you can talk about His Ashkach Pratis, the way He watches over the world, the more that you can speak about how you realize everything is coming from Hashem, the more you can find yourself in this challenging situation and talk to the Rebbe Yenishalom and express 
your deep wellsprings of Amun and that Hashem is the one that's going to pull you through, then it's going to begin to open up and reveal the deepest places inside of your heart that is filled with the or with the light of Amunah, of our true belief in Hashem. Have a wonderful day.